What is philosophy? You probably had courses that start by defining the topic of the course, the discipline it is about. And I'm fully aware that this is not always the most interesting part of the course, but I'll try to be practical as far as this is possible for a philosopher. And even our little inquiry into the nature of philosophy will already have quite some interesting implications. Now you can define what an academic discipline is either by pointing towards its specific object, and then I mean what the discipline is about, or by showing what its specific method is, and then I mean how you do research, how you, how you conduct research in this discipline. Philosophy, this means how do you do philosophy, how do you philosophize. But we'll focus on the object first, and we'll talk about the method later on. What is the object of philosophy? What is philosophy about? Now, it's not immediately clear what philosophy is about. Unlike other disciplines like, say, psychology or geology, which have a pretty obvious object, uh, psychology is obviously about the human psyche, and geology is obviously about the earth, or obvious if you speak ancient Greek, However, philosophy does not have a similar obvious object. If you look at the name itself, philosophy, philosophia, it refers to the love of wisdom, the friendship of wisdom, the love of wisdom. But that doesn't really help us much further, right? Wisdom about what? What's the object of this wisdom? Now, a better way to go about is to take an indirect approach and to look at the different branches of philosophy. There is, for instance, metaphysics. Now we can ask what the subject is or what the object is about me of metaphysics. There is epistemology. And can you guess the last one? Indeed, that is ethics. What is the object of metaphysics? The main question there is, what does it mean to be something? To be something. Quite an abstract question. You can apply it to things such as people. I don't know whether they're things. Tables. Tables are things. But all these things are something. People are something. And, and metaphysicians wonder, what it means to be human. They also wonder what it means to be a table, and in what sense that is different from being human. They don't only focus on specific entities, they think that is pretty applied stuff, but they go even more abstract and wonder what it means to be in general, to be anything, not just be human or be a table, but they both are. And what does that mean? That is metaphysics, pretty abstract and frankly not really my cup of tea. The second branch, epistemology, is something more fun, I guess. And if we want to keep on drawing fancy or not so fancy little images, I could add a knower to our scheme. This is our knower with a very strange nose. And our knower of course, tries to acquire knowledge of, of reality. He is thinking, this is his brain, his thoughts, and he is thinking about such things as people, he's perhaps thinking about you, thinking about the table, thinking about how you sit at the table, and he hopes that his idea that you sit at this table corresponds to reality that you really sit at that table. And epistemology asks the question, can we acquire knowledge about reality? And if we can, how do we succeed in acquiring true beliefs, knowledge about reality? So in a sense, it's about building the bridge between thinking and reality. Being 
is a very metaphysical term, but you could just say now, to build the bridge from thinking to reality, these things are real. The question is whether these things correspond with something real. And that's what epistemology is about. Now there's a third branch of philosophy, and that is ethics. Ethics is about behavior. So let's give our knower the possibility to behave. Let's give him an arm and a hand with some fingers. And now he can act upon reality. He can change it. He can influence it. And what is, of course, important for ethics is that he, his behavior his behavior has an impact on people, on other people, on the well-being of people, etc. And ethics asks the question, how should we behave towards other people, perhaps sometimes also towards other things? How should we behave? All right. These are the three main branches of philosophy and I've touched upon the topics, what they are about. And now I just leave it up to you as a kind of mental homework for this first lesson to think about what is the common thread here? Why are these three branches sub-disciplines of philosophy? What's the unity, the object?